Hi, today we are going to try and make this uh, small teddy bear chain. Okay, this is from a website that I get. I'll give you the link of the website for the free pattern that you can get from in my description. And I will be making it slightly smaller than this because I'm changing the hook. Uh, now I'm going to use 2.5 millimeter hook. Okay, so we'll start by making the leg of the teddy bear and I'm um, using this uh, light brown by the way this is a hundred percent cotton yarn okay um, let's start by making the leg brown one uh, we'll make a magic ring let's make a magic ring here after making the magic ring we will make a six single crochet close up the ring and join it to the end of the other side which is the first okay this is the first part we close the ring okay all right we have a magic ring with six single crochet now we're gonna make round two round two we're going to repeat it three times single crochet once and increase in the next stitch so I, I like to count with points so I'll give you an example one one point one will be an increase one point one increase means I have to do two single crochet in the same hook loop uh, one point one and then two 2.1 3 3.1 Oops Okay, well, let me check the... Yes, correct, it's here 3.1 It's an increase round two now round three round four round five round six the next four rounds will be single crochet around nine times so I'm going to use this counter to help me count so there will be four rounds of nine four rounds of nine put it here okay let's, okay, let's try this 1.1 
now we are done the last round now we're gonna just slip stitch and stuff okay so we are going to close the stitch now I'm gonna slip stitch here and then after that uh, close it with a little bit of yarn maybe make sure you don't have to cut it we have one part of the leg okay and then I'm going to cut this part a little and make it tidier okay one of the teddy bear leg okay so we're gonna make another one but of course we will put some stuff in okay um, I bought this quite cheap stuff actually some cotton and put it inside the leg we'll have a hard time at times okay let's move it in actually this stuff I bought it from Daiso and it's quite cheap dollars one whole bag. I could make a few dollars with it. So it's quite good. Okay, it's inside. Okay, it's a bit fluffier now. Ta-da! Okay, one of the legs is done. We're gonna make another one but uh, for the second piece we are not going to cut the yarn because we are going to connect it to the first one. So maybe I'll just fast forward this part of the video. Alright? So repeat round one stuffing inside Now we are going to join the two legs together, yeah, uh, and making sure that they are facing the same direction. Okay, it's done. Now put the counter side. Okay, this part here is here, and I'm going to join the two legs together. Okay, uh, by making a single crochet. But I will make the single crochet by um, hooking it into the other part of the leg. So here, I'm pulling them side by side, and I'm going to hook yarn over. Okay, I should say yarn over from the other side of the leg. Okay, yarn over any any part, as long as it's, uh, it's the other side. It's maybe it's at the center. We assume that this is the middle part. Put it in through. Get out and then yarn over. Okay, 
So one single crochet connecting both legs. Okay, and then we are going to make a single crochet around, single crochet around uh, the legs. Um, it should be total up to 17 stitches because we already made the first one. So we'll start around the f this leg first. Oh man, this thing is like maybe too many stuffing in. Okay, let's try one. If you kind of count, lost count, I think it's fine as long as you know that you are circling around the two legs. Six. go over to the other side. Then eleven. Now it's back at the center, and I have two of the legs joined together. Right, we're done. So we have finished the legs of the teddy bear. All right, now we are ready to uh, make the body of the teddy. So first round one, we will still use the light brown to go one round of eighteen single crochet around the leg. So from here all the way around. All the way around. Eh? Okay, let's start. Um, this is one. Just remember where you start and you will stop at the same place. going to happen is we are going to change color 
because we are going to make the clothes of the teddy bear um, I've selected a different color I'm not using red and white uh, for this case I'm going to use pink and also green color right um, this is 100% cotton as well I like 100% cotton because uh, it's a good material so we will start by having the pink color first so I'll put the green color aside uh, we will weave it in later we will just cut it later after we get the other color yeah, okay so this is pink I'm going to weave in okay I'm going to just use my own style uh, you can find many YouTube videos that teach you how to weave in the crochet probably properly just find my convenient way <laughs> Just put a hook here and hook it in. Oops, sorry, not yet. I just move. Leave mm -hmm. it in. Yep, in. Close the yarn and then. What I like to do is I just hook it once like that. And then, okay, we are going to start by single crocheting around 18 times so it's one line one line to continue one oh, let me find the hole one Join it with green now. I'll look at my green. This, this. Okay, the same thing. I'm going to weave it in green color and single crochet 18 times as well. So let's weave it in. I will not cut my pink color yarn, I will just leave it as it is, but uh, I will try to put it in the, okay let me change the, I'll put it in the pattern, I mean in the weaving, so that it's not outside but it will be inside instead when I weave my green, when I single crochet my green, so this is my first. Oops, drop off. Here's my first one.
uh, we will tidy up the rest later on okay this excess uh, part we will tidy it up later so we have this okay, let, me, let me tidy this part a bit first weave it in change it to pink okay I'm going to move my yarn okay I'm going to start with pink again okay pull my green again the same one round around on top of the green yarn okay we've read single crochet around 18 okay don't get untangled make sure that my other yarn that I'm not using is inside so it's neater I try to do that okay let's go first yarn I started uh, crocheting I, I learned from my friend and she taught me how to do a coaster <laughs> it wasn't really good actually so but kind of like it to make all the dolls Another layer of green one round, one round okay that will be we have done round one round two round three round four round one round two round three round four now this is the fifth round okay let's do green It's not going to be a single crochet okay this will be round six and round six will be our last round so what happened is 
we are going to change color to red uh, to pink sorry not red because we use pink color and this will be the last last round so what will happen we will do a decrease in the stitch uh, so one single crochet and decrease in the next one single crochet decrease in the next and we will repeat this six times so one, 1 1.1 2 2.1 so whenever I count 1.1 1 .1, it means it's a decrease how to do a decrease stitch you can go and find there are quite a lot of YouTube videos teaching you how to do a decrease stitch okay it's uh, basically joining two two stitch two two hook, hook together okay to do a single crochet okay let's start with this single crochet first so this is the first round If I'm gonna have access, I don't know how, why, maybe I made a mistake, I'll just continue. One single crochet and a decrease here. Decreased. Okay, we can cut this part. We're done. And we can cut this green part as well. We are done. Don't have to make a long end. It's okay. Okay, we're pretty good here. Let's look. And we have the body of the teddy bear. And let's weave it in, weave in all the thread, the yarn, I mean. We are done with the body of the teddy bear and uh, what we're going to do next I uh, will be doing the hands ears and of course slowly will be the head of the bear okay, we have this the body of the teddy bear 